All right, so my previous video, uh, which I'll link in the uh, in this video and then and in the description, we played around with magic sand. Uh, it's a hydrophobic material, meaning that it repels water. Uh, you can actually see there's a little tiny drop of water sitting right here. But anyway, what we're going to be doing today is pouring water into the sand as opposed to pouring sand into the water. And you'll see the interaction is a little bit different, but the physical and chemical properties are still behaving in the exact same way. So we'll take a cup full of water. I'll just start taking spoonfuls and dropping it in. All right, you notice when I drop it in, some of it actually pushed some of the sand off to the side, so I can actually fix that by just tapping the sand back into its place. Right. And we have a bucket of water there. Right. So I'll do that again. This time a little bit lighter so it doesn't actually push the sand away. And you notice that the water actually is holding on to itself. I'll be disconnecting the camera at some point, and we'll take a look at actually seeing the water standing up uh, higher than it normally should be. Normally, you know, our intuition says that when we spill water or anything touches the ground, it wants to, like, flatten out as flat as possible. Well, let's take a look at this. All right, get the focus. You can actually see that the water is standing up taller than itself. And the reasoning behind it is that the water would rather stay stuck to itself, elevated, than spread itself out over more of the hydrophobic sand. All right. It's a really cool thing. Um, I think it looks interesting. It behaves interestingly enough as well. Uh, I believe this has to do with the polarity uh, with water and sand. Uh, you know, one element is polar. I believe the other one is also polar, so they repel each other, but the sand is made in a way that it repels water on all ends. I'm no chemist, but that's my best guess at it. Uh, if I need to correct myself, I'll post it in the description. I'll post a uh, Wikipedia link as well to hydrophobic materials. All right, so I'm just going to spend the rest of this video just adding some more water to it, and you can just basically see it behaving. All right. And it looks like we actually have a bed of water at the bottom of this from uh, previous takes. So you can actually see that have an influence as well. What I'm seeing right over here is that this sand is starting to kind of like pulse and push that little tiny bottle uh, bit of water off to the side. All right, now we got it all connected. So let's see what happens if I pick up a little bit of sand and just kind of put it over here. Right. We notice that some of the sand actually floats away. Uh, another part of it starts to make a mountain. We can also see right here that these two bits of water are very, very close to touching each other. So if we introduce a little bit more water to the equation, they might push, and it might actually change the entire structure of the uh, puddle of water, I guess we'll call it. So I'll start adding water over to this side. They're getting closer. There we go, and they kind of just touched each other. Got a little bit there as well. Just start tossing a little more sand on here. And we can notice how the sand actually, once it gets placed, it kind of just pushes the water whichever way it wants to go. Now we can actually see there's a pocket of water in here. And uh, when I start playing with it, you can actually see it's starting to change. I'm wondering if I can actually dig a port to get the water out. I guess not. But yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. It's fun to play with. Well, uh, like I did in the other video, I'll post a video that, uh, you know, a link that lets you buy it on Amazon. It's a great gift. It's like 12 bucks, so it's really, really uh, cool to play around with. All right, and the biggest thing, the easiest way to clean this up that uh, a lot of people find out is just to take a regular paper towel. This one's used, obviously, but if I flatten it and just kind of lay it over, the sand is actually helping push the water into the paper towel. Uh, it's not a huge factor, but it definitely helps. And then all you have to do is simply squeeze it back into the water. And repeat again and again and again with the paper towel. Alright, thanks for checking it out.